Hey guys, I'm Ozia, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install um, a Cauldron server for the Bevo Tech Pack through the AT Launcher. Now, what you're seeing on the screen right now is on the left hand side is uh, a recording of particularly the frames per seconds um, of gameplay that I'm having with uh, the Bevo Tech Pack in single player. Now, on the right hand side is uh, the frames per second I get from running a uh, a cauldron server off the local machine and connecting as uh, through multiplayer to the local server and as you can see on the right hand side the average frame second is much higher uh, the high higher frame second is higher as well the minimum is higher of course which is all better and you'll notice that there isn't this uh, tearing moments now on the left hand side the tearing isn't that bad but it is irritating now if I was to change the settings um, on the left hand side screen recording to have a higher um, view distance the tearing gets to the point right where it actually will freeze the game so um, I was running this issue and then I asked uh, Bevo LJ how he was doing his recordings and he said he's running a cauldron server locally and so I decided to try that and I was amazed by the uh, the difference in the two now I'm not quite sure how it is maybe it's just magic but someone who knows Java Forge or something like that would probably better to know but at the moment I'm gonna leave it as magic so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the uh, the a2launcher.com website now it's if you don't know AT launcher it's similar to FTB or tech it so it's essentially like a program that uh, lets you download mod packs but that's uh, that's another video I guess but so basically go there go to the download sections um, download a the preferably best is to go to the exe version of the the launcher, download it, and then put it into uh, a folder of its own. I've got it in here as ATL, but you can put it whatever you call it. And what you do is you just run it like this and quickly open. And then what you want to do is you want to go to the pack session on the right hand side. Now scroll down until you find the Bevo Tech Pack or another pack that's a 1.7.10 pack. Now, I'm not sure if there's any 1.7.10 packs um, out apart from the Bevo Tech Pack at the moment, So, but you can go with them if you want to. So once you get to the Bevo Tech Pack, go to Create Server, and then from the drop-down box, make sure you select the, the highest one, or you can go the well one if you think there's uh, bugs in it or what, but uh, we're just going to go the version 6.4 for the time being, uh, and then go click Install. And of course, full version of VTP designed for better computers. And so you can choose the mini one if you want. And then on the screen, uh, choose all the option mods that you want. Make sure you select uh, Cauldron, uh, MCPC Plus, of course. I'm going to select Spice of Life as well. And I'll click install. And because I've already downloaded the service, it's going to, um, won't take very long for me, but for you, it might take a couple of minutes depending on your internet connections. So I'll just wait until that finishes. Okay, downloading, configs, extracting, and it's done. Okay, so now once that's done, I'm just going to minimize that for the time being. Uh, minimize that as well. It has gone to the servers folder. Now, as we downloaded the uh, the sixth one, so it's one seven ten and the sixth version of four. Go in here. You'll notice that there's a cauldron launch server dot bat. Um, and a watch server dot bat. This one here will launch just forge version. This one, of course, launches the cauldron one. Now, if you haven't got the cauldron one here, and so you probably have downloaded a, a previous one, what you do want to do is you want to uh, essentially get the name of the cauldron jar, open up this one, uh, go edit, and then change this here uh, to the dot so it, it points to the cauldron file click save and close that but of course if you've already got this one here you don't have to worry about this step now what you want to do is just run it once uh, it will start up the server it will actually uh, come to a point where it will stop um, where we need to do something else uh, so it's just, it's just creating all the files it needs to do on the right hand side uh, and it's going through it for the first bit. 
doing all its checks. And then it should get to a point right where it says, uh, hey, we can't go any further. And dump, dump, dump. there we go. Force server stop. Press N key to, to stop it. And then what you want to do is you want to go to the eula.txt file, open it, find where it says false, and change it to true in capitals. Uh, basically, this is how we're agreeing what we're not going to be doing piracy or something like that, or evil stuff. Save it and close it. Then run the cauldron launch server.bat again. And we'll wait for it to launch up. <coughs> Actually, what launches up? I'm just going to open up, um, uh, actually you can go through AT Launcher, but I'm going to go through the Multi-MC, which is just another way of launching uh, uh, the Minecraft modded. Um, okay. Actually, no, for this one, I'm actually going to go through the AT Launcher, just so it's uh, similar to what you guys will have. I'm going to launch up the AT Launcher. I'm going to go to packs, actually instances, sorry, and I've already got a, have I got a 1? I have not actually got a 1.6, that's why I use the multi-MC, but we can quickly do that, new instance, 1.6.4 of course, install, is there, uh, yes I do, and yeah, that's right, install, it's usually suggested to run these packs in multi-MC, but um, you can do a 3 d AT launcher if you want. Um, we may do a video on that later. Okay, so once that's done, instances, we should have a 1.7.10.6.4. It's going to go play. Oop, I've got to put my password in. No peeping, of course. Aha. Okay, we're going to wait that. To launch up. Okay, so now we've got the game loaded. I'm going to go maximize that for the time being. And I'm going to go multiplayer. Uh, I've already got the server already connected there, but we're just going to re add it. So it's going to call it whatever you want. So I'm just going to call it um, vid local, just so I can tell the difference. And then here, just type in local host. And then click done. And here we go. It's connected. It sees that there's a server there. Double click on that one. And if we just open up this little text file, you see that we've connected to the server. It's all working quite well. There we go. It's actually loaded in the game much faster than what it would normally, mainly because the server's loaded up everything beforehand. If we press the F3 key, uh, we're going to add 60 frames. Oh, I think I know why we're getting 60 frames a second. Because VSync, uh, where we are. Video settings, graphics, fancy, render chance, maximum. It doesn't really matter because we're on a server. Uh, frame per second unlimited. Turn off VSync. I'm going to remove OpenGL because I think there's an issue with the current version at the moment. Uh, clouds are on. We'll leave full screen off for the time being. And that should be fine. Click go done, back to game. As you can see, we're now we're getting 200 frames a second or so. Um, let's see. Let's, now, because we're on a server, um, we just can't go straight into cheat mode. Um, so we're going to op ourselves. So we're going to type in op and then our name. And now I'm a admin to say, and I'm going to go creative mode and what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go and go out smaller chunks and as you can notice we're not um, freezing at all our frames are going to staying quite high and uh, we are loading chunks quite nice and uh, like I said if I was doing this on single player you know every 10 meters or so I'd get a, a pause and if I had the long view distance on it might actually uh, crash the whole game which yeah did actually happen quite a few times. I should also mention, uh, like I forgot before, uh, if you want to stop the server, which is necessary in time you want to stop playing, just go in there and just press uh, STOP. So 
I think that's about it for today, guys. Um, if you like it, uh, hit the like button. If you've got any questions, let me know. Uh, if you want to see more of this uh, content, uh, subscribe, of course. That always helps. Um, and until next time. Ready, aim, fire.